what's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use computer vision to control OBS. That means we can use gestures on camera to move scenes in OBS and do a whole bunch more. Let's take a look in this video. Really quickly guys, this tutorial took me a long time and if you're new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button and let us know if you're interested in this type of technology, this artificial intelligence, computer vision. Let us know how you might use it in the comments below because we're doing a lot of research in this and I think that AI, computer vision, and this kind of stuff is going to really impact the live streaming and video production industry. So show us some love, hit that like button, and let me show you how to use this cool computer vision to control OBS with just gestures through your webcam. So this is pretty incredible, and I kind of want to break down what we're talking about here. So gesture control is basically a form of computer vision. And computer vision works by creating a data set or it's called a model in which uh, the computer can look for different things, gestures in your video feed and recognize them and then take actions uh, at that time. Now what RoboFlow has created is a really easy way to create that data set, that computer vision data set model and then run it in the cloud uh, and you can also run it locally on your computer. What we're gonna do is basically create a video, train the data set and then use it with a zip file that you're gonna be able to download at the links below and all you need to do is retrieve your RoboFlow API key for that that data set that you've created and I'm gonna walk you through it right now but this is does get a little bit complicated there's a little bit of programming involved so if you really want to dig into what this is fully capable of I'm gonna to link to a more detailed video and blog post that our friends at RoboFlow created so that you guys can learn even more than what I'm capable of showing you alright so I'm just gonna quickly record myself doing some gestures doesn't need to be a lot of video the more video the more frames that you use the better training data that the computer vision model will have so I'm just going to do kind of like a thumbs up, a thumbs down, a pointer up, and then like a grab, which is like a fist. Maybe I'll do that multiple times. Now, you can use the training models that are available on RoboFlow and just clone that and skip this step. But it's nice that you can customize the data set to your webcam that you're using. I'm using a HuddleCam HD Pro. Uh, it's a 4K webcam and I have lighting in this room. So the more customized it is to your studio and your setup, the better the results will be. So, all right, so high level, how this works is that OBS can receive information from the computer vision on what it, we want it to do through the web sockets feature of OBS. So OBS web sockets basically uses the IP address of your computer and a port number and through that port it can receive data and decide what to do with it. So RoboFlow and thank you Tyler has done kind of all the hard work and they're going to give us a zip file that we just have to add our RoboFlow API key. We have to add the OBS web sockets information and then we use our camera video from OBS using the virtual camera output we send that back into Google Chrome actually where RoboFlow can process uh, and, and really use the model that we've created to do the computer vision. So let's start by getting our OBS web sockets information. So under tools we can get the WebSockets information here. Make sure you have enabled your WebSocket server. Take note of the port. And then click this button here that says Show Connect Info. And that's going to give us our IP address, the port number, and the password. I just used the password of RoboFlow because it was already referenced in the code. Easy enough. That's the information that you need to plug into this JavaScript here. That IP address, the port number, and the password. 
Also, you want to make sure your scenes in OBS, whatever they're named, are referenced appropriately. Um, so I just used scene one and scene two here um, just to, to make sure all of this was working. You know, if you're connected and this is working properly, you actually will see the connected WebSockets plugins here as well. Um, so good job to OBS and the team here for, for creating such a great WebSockets plugin. Now on the RoboFlow side, you can see that my my project is called OBS Gestures. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my settings and I'm going to go to get my RoboFlow API key. So this is my API key. You are going to need to create a RoboFlow account, get your API key and plug it in to here. Once you've done that, you have the ability to just grab your OBS project name as well. And I like to get it just right here, OBS dash, dash gestures, and go ahead and plop that into the model name. If you've done all that, you click save, it's gonna work, but you're probably gonna wanna open and close OBS at least once, because I had that problem. So close OBS, open it back up, and then I'm gonna take you through how this works. All right, so assuming we've done everything we need to in this RoboFlow JS file, which is the JavaScript, we can just double click the index file, open it up, and make sure that your virtual webcam in OBS is clicked on. If it is, video should be coming through here, and we can actually, in the Chrome browser, see what's happening. So thumbs up, thumbs down, and we're because the virtual video, uh, the video is coming from OBS, we're actually seeing the scene changes as well. I cannot wait to see what you guys do with this. I know there are a lot of incredibly creative people out here and thank you to RoboFlow for kind of doing a lot of the heavy lifting here. So even somebody like me can do this. Um, if you want to learn more about OBS and how to become an OBS super user, you can always download our OBS super user guidebook. And if you like this kind of content, don't forget to subscribe because we've got some really cool new stuff coming out with computer vision and AI that we're going to be talking a lot about in the next couple months. So, see you soon.